A dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination and hard work. So, hopefully it's the final day working on the gates, mm -hmm. the job that wasn't really supposed to get done. No, we were only moving caravans <laughs> and moved the gate instead. And then rebuilt the whole wall. Ah, uh, again. <laughs> again. <laughs> you might think that I'm enjoying it, I actually am. No, not one bit. No, it just has to be done. And yeah. It's one of those things that occurs while we've got people and machinery here. We have to work with what we've got, don't we? Yeah, you do. You might yeah. think obviously that you jump, jump from job to job, but you have to work on the job that you can there and then. That, yeah, we, right. we do. I mean, it, it just so happened that we had the, the, the JCB here, so we sort of jumped on it and thought, right, we'll get these jobs done. Yeah. So, you know, it. we do do a lot of different jobs. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the task for today is we need to get this section dug out so we can find the pin for the gate uh -huh. so we don't pull up the car out and then we're just getting the JCB ready now to start scooping the rest of this up so it creates a proper driveway. Yeah, we may find some cobbles. Oh, it was an original entrance yeah. so you never know, we don't know what's under here, there's like 50, 60 years of honest, I didn't even here. think yeah. about cobbles or now. There might be some cobbles. So Mum's getting back to her favourite job in the world, <laughs> digging. which is digging. <laughs> I fun. love digging as much as you love building walls. <laughs> we don't. They just need to be done. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so, like I said, we'll crack on. We'll get this little section done here, just so we don't damage it. Uh -huh. And then, once that's done, we can get the machinery in to get the rest out. Yep. Yep. Let's get going. Come on then.
so we've got all of this sort of level now and cleared which is looking amazing and we found the little pin which is good so it's all intact we've cleared it all off ready to get the gate on which is exciting so we're just going to get the attachment on the JCB now and then we'll hook it up to the gate and hopefully fingers crossed that all goes okay and it all fits back in so yeah instead of we've got all of this part cleared down here now as well so we just need to get it all raked off and so can brilliant and then i think the plan for the future is we'll just put some sort of matting down here put some of the nice big stones that we found along and put some sort of ferns and stuff like that in so it's a, a nice int like entrance for us um below maintenance and I'll just keep it nice and tidy so we don't need to keep on top of it and then I think in the future to get a nice little sign along here just saying Chateau de Lalasso will be brilliant so we'll crack on now just going to rake the last couple of bits of this off um, so the gate will be able to swing open and then go from there really with it yeah we'll crack on now So we have the gate back on. It's absolutely amazing to get it back on and get it sorted. It um, wasn't too difficult to be honest either. Obviously just getting the pin in the top and just lining it in with the pin on the bottom. And it's obviously all safe and secure now. So we can open it all the way and we can close it with the other one, which is just absolutely amazing. When we first came here from day one, we always knew that these were gonna be a massive, massive job. And to be honest, we thought we were going to have to get someone in to do it because it was rebuilding the whole pillar and taking the gates off, obviously taking a lot of the earth out and putting it all back in place. But I'm just, it's amazing to think that we've got all this done ourselves, just with the skills that we've learnt bit by bit going over and the help of our amazing friends. And we've got it done. And I wouldn't even like to think how much we've saved obviously trying to get someone in to get it done it's just amazing so now we can actually close the gate over when we want to or we can use this as our own personal entrance which like I said is just another thing ticked off the list for us so next thing that we need to crack on with is we need to clear all the banks side to side where the soil's obviously built up over the years we need to clear all that off so we can get down to the level that it was get the bottom of the wall pointed there and then I think we're going to put some matting down just to stop any weeds or anything coming through and just so it's a lot easier to manage and then I think we're going to sort of like bank it a little bit so at the entrance coming in we're going to clear all of that and look at what we can do there just so it makes it look a little bit tidier but yeah I'm just super super chuffed that we've got the gate back on now and instead it's easy to move and we can open and close it and it's not going to fall off so yeah so i'm going to crack on now and so we're going to get the tools get all this bank cleared get all the other side cleared and hopefully we'll have it all finished soon so yeah we'll see you in a bit
So, obviously really cracking on with the old service entrance now. It's looking absolutely amazing. To get the gate back on is fantastic. So we can close them over now and it can be our own personal entrance off the, this road coming down. But we've managed to use a lot of the old stone up as well to create like this bank coming in either side. And it looks brilliant. It looks like it was originally there, to be honest. Um, what we'll get done is we'll get it all pointed up because it's all just like plop, like put on at the minute. So it's pretty much like dry stone walling. But we'll just get it pointed. It's not got any sort of pressure on it on out, so it should be okay. Still need to get the top part of the wall sorted. So we've ran out of sand. We're just waiting for a delivery of sand to come so we can get the rest of that done. But we've managed to use our other stones as well so we've got one either side of the the gate posts now and me and mum were just talking I think we're just gonna cover this sort of area get some matting down and we've got a couple of plants left there we've got some lavenders and some stuff like that I think Ash has got some allium bulbs um, we've got a couple of different colours of them so I think having some of those here as well because um, it gets gets a lot of sun but not like full sun all day so I think that would be good for them and then once that's down we'll pop some bark on just to, to actually blend it all in I think it'll be lovely and then like I said we've got an entrance but compared to what it was like when we first started it's just completely transformed it so we've still got all of the rest of this area to get sorted mum's just up at the top there now she's collecting all of the loose stones so as we're going around with the chain and arrows, um, that's obviously bringing up all of the loose stone and we're just obviously picking that up. So the top section, we can get some matting down and cover it all in gravel. And then this bottom part, we're gonna have all grassed. And hopefully in the future, we're gonna create like a, an outdoor kitchen down here, which will be nice. Um, and then, yeah, it's all pretty much sorted. But for now, I'm gonna carry on raking all of this down so I can get it all flat. I've got all of this part here so I'll carry on flattening this and then I think the wall I've blended it into the actual angle that we've got here but my idea is is I might take it around this tree so it's just like a bit of a semicircle and then it's its own sort of like self-contained planting area otherwise I don't know how we'll blend it into whatever else we're having past that so I think I'll carry it on just single stone just around so it creates a, a bit of a boundary around there and then do it on the other one because I'll show you there's some big big stones here so some massive ones you might be able to see little Patrick just there hey Patrick he's just looking out for the uh, mice which just keep on playing games with them they keep on jumping out of the stones and then jump back in <laughs> So he just sits there all day just waiting. But also as well, I'll quickly show you because we found another interesting stone. So these are the little banked areas we've got. And these stones that we found, obviously we just plunked one that side and one that side, which I think look brilliant. Little Patrick's keeping a guide, looking out. But in this pile while I was working through them, we found this stone. Now it's got obviously the metal, like, stopper in and we're thinking this stone was originally in the center of where the gates are so I don't know if this whole area once would have been cobbled unfortunately we haven't found anything like that here but the amount of stone that's around here like we've got this one which is massive there's that one and then there's another big big one here and then obviously we've just got loads more stone around so I think like I said, I'll clear this area off. I'll bring my edging around. I'll probably bring it around to this stone. I might stop it there. So then this area we can cover in bark. And then I'll do the same with this one. So the bank can come right the way around and I'll just bring it around the tree to stop over the side there. I'll get all this area sorted. I need these stones for when I finish off the top of the wall. So I'll just pop those aside for now. And we need to dig our 
decorative stone out, the corner one. That's sunken in quite far. So you would have seen that in our last video. So we'll get that out. And then yeah, we can get the plants in, which would be nice. And then after that, we're gonna get some gravel delivered. So we can put some gravel down here. But just standing back and seeing it already, as a little service entrance, I think it's brilliant. So I will crack on now and hopefully we can get it sorted by the end of this episode. So, we finally got them back in place. Yeah, yeah, no, they're wonderful. It is. To finally get both of the gates on, sorted and working, mm -hmm. which is absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I think it's a job that, to be honest, God knows when we were ever going to get it done. No, because we don't come down well. We didn't use this entrance specifically because the, the wall was so fragile. We just didn't use this entrance at all. No. Um, so it did tend to get a bit neglected, didn't it? Yeah, we sort of just shut this part off yeah <laughs> we used to come out here if we were going for a little walk but we could only mm. ever use this gate mm -hmm. that i've got now yeah and they're only opened a little bit just enough for us to get through really through. didn't it yeah yeah just because um, of, it was just so overgrown down here mm -hmm. um but luckily obviously because we had our amazing friends over yeah and we had the machinery yep we thought we'd tackle getting it done getting it done well as it is you start one job don't you and it goes and to then. another then another then <laughs> another um and we, we couldn't leave it as it was, um, just it was so so fragile, it, yes. it was just about to fall wasn't it well really, it was. so it's a fantastic job done. 
yeah it is it's amazing you might not see much of Ash in the video he has been working bless him he's been doing so much behind the scenes so getting everything sorted for us hasn't he yep moving so. stones picking stones filling stones yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything you know just all the running around everything we've needed he's been to pick up yeah getting like the matting that we've needed yeah. put down he's been doing a lot of work on the volunteers caravans yeah so we'll be able to show you that come like hopefully the next couple of weeks yeah um so obviously just because he hasn't been in the video it doesn't mean that he hasn't been busy he yeah. has been busy bless him <laughs> he <blew up. laughs> he's even took jonathan to school today for us yeah <laughs> <laughs> so but it's just looking absolutely amazing mm -hmm. down here to get the little walls done to get the matting down ready for getting the gravel and all that yep yeah. well that's where he's gone today he's gone to order the gravel now hasn't he yeah uh you know that that's not an easy job and <laughs> trying to, to order, order. 14 ton of gravel <laughs> again again more gravel um, so yeah it, i mean the little walls terry's built look tremendous they look like they've always been here we're going to get little plants we've done around the the other side near the road yeah so to have this place now here for us is just so peaceful and so tranquil around here isn't it to, yeah, it is to chill just... out it's going to be fantastic and the reason we're doing this is just so we can have our own personal space where we can come and relax and not think God, we need to do this or we need to do that yeah mm -hmm. um, when friends and family come over and everything isn't it you know we've got a lot of space we do have a lot of people sometimes yeah, uh, all come at once yeah um so it's lovely we, we do need an area this big <laughs> yeah yeah to do it and like i said if it's all sorted then we don't have to have anything to worry well, about yeah. while mm -hmm. we're doing the rest of the work that's right yeah this is one less job now for us to to think about and then we can concentrate on all the, the other bits the, the, you know the formal garden which we will be starting probably now the end of this year beginning of next when we get the water see the rainy season won't we yeah we'll yeah, start yeah. planting then it's far too late now we can't do anything with it now until the end of this year beginning of next, next. yeah we'll be getting <clears throat> Some little bits done in there, like pointing and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But planting. we can't do any planting just because it's so hot all yeah. the summer. Mm -hmm. It'll just kill absolutely everything. Yeah. So it's going to be pointless putting plants in when they're just going to yeah. die. So we're planning on hopefully getting the layout sorted at the end of the year. Yeah. And getting some of the first plants in. Yeah, because we've realised now the first year we were here, we wanted to do everything and we planted everything, and a lot of it was wasted. But yeah. Um, the beginning of this year we've realized when we started planting everything's the ball, been, been fantastic so we, we're learning as we go it's obviously new to us we're not professional gardeners we're, huh? we're learning huh? as we go oh. and these are one of the things that we've learned now are the times of the year when to plant what? and the best time to do things so we haven't just left it and forgot about it it's just getting the right time for yeah. everything isn't it it is it is yep <laughs> but we'll crack on now while ash is out we need to get the last bits done here ready for the gravel coming mm -hmm. which we'll be able to show you mm -hmm. one last thing the tree that's in the corner we did take the ivy off we've got a big chunk out of it so it will die off yeah. the ivy yeah. luckily it's a cherry tree isn't it yeah this one yeah cherry tree and obviously all the ivy that's taken over it so hopefully mm -hmm. that'll start dying off yep but for now we'll crack on mm -hmm. and we'll see you in the next one but don't forget to like and subscribe and mm -hmm. tell us what you think to it yep. and how we've done with mm -hmm. our gate post build yeah. and fitting the gates <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one bye bye if you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau then please join us on patreon where you'll be part of our journey receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos